I speak unto thee this day, and I say, when I, a living God, do give warning and warning and warning to the sons of men, it is that they would listen, pay heed to me, and correct their behavior according to my warning unto them. But I say, when men are stubborn and proud and defiant, refusing to listen unto me, they bring to themselves many sorrows multiplied. And I say, they are the ones who literally invite my wrath, my fury, my indignation to come upon them, because they refuse to listen to me. But I say, instead, they choose a way that will prove to be emptiness, futility, and despair. For I say, when men will walk in the way of their own understanding, they are going in the way of fools. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to go in the way of your own understanding, for I say that the same is darkness before me. And I say when a man will go wise in his own conceit, believe that he's able to go his own way, then I say that he goes in the way of a fool. But I say when a man will humble himself and bow down, then I say that he's subject to me. And I say that he can be brought forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided in my way. I say you are living in times when many are walking in a way that is far from me, and yes, they will pay for the same. For I say they have grown wise in their own conceit, they imagine they know better than they know, and I say they are nothing but fools. For I say they are choosing to be losing by believing in themselves rather than me. And I say they are refusing my warnings, and I say in the same they are devoured. I say this day that I, the living God, do have the way for men to walk in, and I say when they will be accepting of that way, then yes, they are guided forth by me. And they are given the blessedness, the truth, the mercy, the light, and the hope of who I am. But I say when men will refuse to pay heed to me and go in the way of their own understanding, then I say they go in the way of stubborn, proud fools. And yes, they are devoured, destroyed, and taken far from me. I say this day be glad for the privilege to believe me, to receive of me, and be brought forth in me day by day. And I say be thankful that I do direct, correct, and instruct you, and guide you each day. For I say when you will be fully accepting of what it is that I give unto thee, then I say you are guided forth by me. But I say when you reject my counsel, my instruction, my warning, then of course you go in the way of fools. Now I say there are those who are devoured by the wolves, and I say they deserve just that. And I say it is because they refuse to listen to sound counsel, they refuse to hear my warnings, but they think they can go in the broad way. That is, they think they can do as they please when they please and live for themselves. Then they think somehow they are meant to be kept by me. But I say that the truth of it is that I, the living God, do give my instruction, I give my warning, I give what it is that men need to hear in order that they would be kept in my way. But I say that if men are wise in their own conceit and they are ignoring me, then I say they end in the sorrows they bring to themselves. And I say that their sorrows are multiplied because they have chosen a way that I did not intend for them. And I say that their sorrows are multiplied because they are far from me. I say this day do not walk afar off from me, but I say be guided each day by me. And I say be instructed in the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength of who I am. And I say be knowing that it is me you can look to, believe, and trust each day. For I say it is me, the living God alone of all the gods, who is able to keep the ones who believe upon me. That is, to the extent that they will obey and they will be kept in my way. But I say, when you see the ones who've gone according, who've estranged themselves, who've taken up by the gods, what do you see? I say, you see fools who magnify their own troubles and bring many sorrows to themselves. And I say, it is because they are choosing a way that I did not intend nor provide. And I say, they are choosing to be losing by living in estrangement from me. I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to estrangement, but I say that I've called you to walk in the way that I give you day by day. And I say that I've called you to be thankful that you are given the privilege to love, to serve, to obey me. I say that I've called you to be thankful that for me you are guided in that which I give day by day. And I say through me you are instructed in the blessedness that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give the way of my truth, my light, my mercy revealed to the ones who will believe upon me, trust in me, and be brought forth by me. But I say that the ones who have chosen 
in the way of deviation, the way of perversion, the way of their own understanding of chosen, the way of death. And the ones who think they can cavort themselves in the broad way, flirt with the world, take on the covering of demons and have no troubles from the same, are simply be being devoured by lies. And I say that the wolves will come and rend and tear them and they will be destroyed. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call my people to end in destruction, to end in devastation and despair. Nor do I call my people to end in the way of the damned, but I call them to come forth in me. And I say that I call them to be uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided in my life. And I say that I call my people to be thankful each and every day to obey me. For I say, when you will indeed hearken unto me, obey my voice, and walk in the way that I give, then I say you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the truth, the light, the blessedness, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. And yes, you are given that which I, the living God, do intend for thee. Therefore, I say, be serving in the attitude of gratitude, be guided forth in the truth and the light and the mercy of who I am. And I say, be knowing that it is me you can look to, that it is me that you can believe in and trust day by day. And I say, be knowing that in me you are directed in the truth, for I will guide you in my life. I say this day, do not, absolutely do not resist instruction, but I say, be thankful for the same that will keep you in the narrow way. For I say, when I give my warnings, it is because there are dangers, there are things that will beset the ones who do not pay heed unto me. And I say, there are wolves who will bring nothing but devouring forces of darkness upon the ones who are dumb enough to stray out into their way. But I say, when my people will pay heed to my warnings, obey the same, they are kept in the straight and narrow way of my life. And I say, they are kept in the way that I purpose for my own. Now I say, when men and women are proud and full of themselves, they think that they do not need to be corrected, directed, or instructed by me. And I say, they think they can go in the way of the foolish, they can go in the way of the corrupt, the wicked, and not be overwhelmed in the same. But I say, when you see the ones who are destitute of truth and going in a way that I did not intend, what do you see? I say, you see fools who are overwhelmed in the folly of their own way. I say, this day the idol living God do not call you to your own way, but I say that I call you to my way. And I say that I call you to be made glad each day that you are guided, directed, and corrected by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that to me so are you given the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. For I say that I, the living God, will not withhold any good thing from the ones who will pay heed to me, walk uprightly in me, and be brought forth in my way. But I say that the ones who refuse to pay heed to my warnings, they will be devoured and destroyed. I say you are living in times when many will be found under my wrath because they would not pay heed to my warnings. And I say they will know what it is to have my war against them. And I say it is because they were proud, defiant, and wise in their own conceit. And I say they struck out to find another way, but I say the way that they find is the way of their destruction and despair. And I say they are fools who are indeed taken in folly because they refuse to pay heed to my warnings to my instruction, and I say they are devoured. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be a fool, but I say that I call you to be made wise. And I say if it is me that you will be believing and trusting, if it is me that you will follow after and obey, then yes, you are kept in my way. And the way that I give thee is the way of eternal life. I say thank me and praise me, thank me and praise me that I guide you forth, that I will uplift you and instruct you in my way. And thank me and praise me that I give to you the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. For I say, if you will continue to look unto me, to believe and trust me, then yes, you are given the blessedness, the strength, and the mercy day by day. But I say, when you choose to go in any other way, you go in the way of a fool. I say, do not go in the way of a fool, do not go in the way of your own despair and destruction, but I say, come forth in the way that I provide. 
that is the way of my truth and my light, my mercy revealed. And I say, do not be afraid nor ashamed nor too proud to accept my warnings and pay heed to the same. For I say, it is being the living God who does offer to the sons of men through repentance the way of life. And I say, if men are truly repentant, they will accept my instruction and pay heed to the same. And I say that they will be guided forth, uplifted, directed, and corrected by me. And I say that they will be given the mercy, the truth, and the light upon the path. I say, thank me and praise me, thank me and praise me that I am the one who will uplift and guide, who will direct and correct and instruct you each day. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who is life and truth and mercy provided. For I say, when you pay heed to me, to my warnings, to my directions, my corrections, then yes, you are kept in the straight and your way of life. But I say, when you wander to the Broadway and take on the covering of your of the same you are taking on death and I say when a man is covered in death then I say that he will follow after wolves and be devoured I say this day there is no reason to go in the way of death when I the living God will give you life that is if you will listen unto me and walk in the way that I give thee day after day for I say you are living in a land that is full of wolves devouring and destroying and tearing and ripping and causing death to many on every hand but I say that if men would return to my instruction, my correction, my warning that I give, they could be kept in life. For I say it is me, the living God, who delights to keep the ones who pay heed to me, who will obey me and walk soberly in me. For I say you are not meant to take on the drunkenness, the stupidity, the darkness that is throughout the land. But I say you are meant to be made glad, ever thankful, that it is me that you look to and believe. And I say you are meant to be made glad, ever thankful, to be brought forth in the straight and narrow way that I give the way of eternal life. For I say it is me, the living God, who is life and strength, truth and hope and mercy intended for the ones who cleave to me. I say be thankful to believe me, to trust me and obey me, that is, by paying heed to the warnings I bring that you can indeed be kept in life rather than turned over under wrath unto death. For I say there are many even now who are headed only to their own destruction, and I say it is because they chose death above life, they chose the broad way above the straight and narrow way, they chose to have no regard for my warnings, but go their own way. And I say the way that they go is the way of their own damnation.